Ralph here from Woodcademy. Now I like using glue joint bits as much as the next person, but when it comes to cutting boards, I want to do something a little more special. So I'm going to show you a new way to think about glue joints, where on the top it looks like a normal glue up, but from the edge we get a detail. So when gluing up my cutting boards, I wanted the extra surface area that a glue joint bit provides, but I didn't want the tongue and groove look. In fact, I wanted something that was going to be decorative using contrasting woods. So I chose, in this case, triple bead cutters. There's Freud's triple bead cutter here that's perfectly matched to their triple flute cutter. And between the two of them, they make up what is effectively a glue joint. And it's not just router bits that can do it. We have triple bead shaper cutters and triple flute shaper cutters that can be used to make the same joint. And I'll show you how we do that. And even molding head cutters can be had in this profile. So we're gonna do all three in the video. The stock is prepared and all the parts ripped to width. The boards here are made up of one species with a fairly narrow piece of contrasting stock positioned just off center. But this technique will work just fine with most designs. I started with the triple bead cutter, setting the height so that the center bead was centered on the stock. The narrow contrasting strip was milled first, cutting the triple bead into both edges. The triple bead was used with all the glue joints in each board, so at least one other edge will require the triple bead. Both of these bits from Freud are the same height. So to set the triple cove, I simply transferred the height from the triple bead. And then the other half of all the joints are milled using the triple cove bit. You'll see that the cutting board stock was a little bit thicker than the height of the triple beads. You want the small straight section above and below. So you'll see a crisp, clean line on the surface of the boards, even if you need to sand them. Using shaper cutters for this joinery is pretty much the same process as the router bits. The important part is making sure that the height is correct when setting up both of the cutters. Using shaper cutters to make these joints can be even more effective, provided they're a matched pair. These cutters from Korob have a larger diameter than the router bits used previously, which actually improves the angle of the cut and the quality of the finish. And Korob Cutters makes molding head knives in the same triple bead profile, offering you a third method for making this alternative glue joint. Other than milling the triple bead, this is a straight up cutting board project. And while I use the triple bead profile for this video, there are certainly other router bit combinations that you could use to put your own stamp on your next glue up. 